Yo, what's good, everybody? We here with my man, Ron, the owner and designer of the shoe, Christopher Prince. Hey, man, can you grab some of them shoes, man, for me uh, real quick? So, or can I grab them shoes real quick, man, in the camera, man? So, he got, he got so many designs, y'all. But this one of the newer designs that he got right here. And I'm going to let him tell y'all, like, how he got started and uh, where y'all can find the shoe. How did you get started with the you know Christopher Christopher Prince um, brand? So basically, what uh, happened was I was a history teacher, and then um, I was racially fired and stuff. So um, that was super. You know, I wasn't motivated no more after doing four years of college. You know, two degrees and stuff like that. You thinking the world is in your face. You can do whatever you want. Right. You know? And um, just to be fired, you know, in three months, it, it took a toll on me. Mm -hmm. So what I decided to do is take initiative upon myself, go home. Well, the first thing I started was uh, cooking chicken outside my house. So so you were just like, I'm working for myself. I'm not about to go back into the, the exactly. uh, workforce. Yeah, it, 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 and, and, and when I saw that, I was like, you know what? I can never feel discouraged like that again. <laughs> so what I had to do was I had to, you know, break barriers. And um, uh, what I decided to do was, you know, make chicken. And it, and it did good. You know, I made like $2,000 one time in a month just selling chicken. Right. And that actually funded what we know today as Christopher Prince. So you, so hold on, man. <laughs> so let me get this straight. So this this concept came from basically you going on an entrepreneurial whim and saying, hey, I'm going to do this. And then so when did the concept, so you was cooking chicken, and then what sparked your dome to say, I'm going to make shoes? So when I think I uh, had a couple dollars and I kept buying forces, mm -hmm. I kept buying all white forces because right. that was like the only bricks. shoe. Yeah, exactly. Buy bricks. It's we the all only shoe. You know, bricks go with everything. Yeah. They get dirty fast. Fast. And that I think that played a role because you know on the market now it's just hooping shoes. It's mm -hmm. like not really a lot of stylish shoes. Right. So I was like, what can I do to make a, a unique shoe but make it also affordable? Yeah. Because you know Balenciagas and stuff they want four five hundred dollars. And most of the time, the shoes is ugly, so people just... Because I mean, these right here, yo, the these killing a lot of shoes. I ain't going to disrespect Balenciaga, <laughs> but these killing a lot of... Man, come on, man. These boys crazy, it's, man. It's super. It's, it's official. Man. And I ain't even showed y'all the mean potatoes or anything, because I got some other shoes, too, to show y'all that he didn't make, you, you know what I mean? It's a blessing, but it really is. It's really a blessing. You told me previously before we came in here, I mean, before we got online, that you made 29000 one day. And one day off your first shoe that you made. First first ever shoe. What was the feeling like? So when I when I first did it, I took a risk. Because the first time, when I first got the shoe and I knew it was at my doorstep, I'm like, you know what? This is the shoe. Mm -hmm. And um, I went to the store and I grabbed the donut charm. Yeah. This donut charm matched the, the bottom of my shoe. So when I put that donut charm on there, mm -hmm. it literally sparked interest all over Twitter. We did 4 million views in one day. Wow. And when I was sitting on the couch, I literally had, like, the worst website ever. So y'all went viral? Yeah. We went viral. In one day? One day. All it takes is one day, All man. Took. All it takes is an idea to perfect it in one day and going hard, man. Whole and life can you blowing up. You blow, you done blown up. Four you minutes. talking about you got celebrities wearing your shoe and everything. Yeah, we got Sada Baby, Tyler Hero. I love Sada Baby music. Man, that's my Shout boy, man. Baby. Shout out to Sada Baby, man. Sada Baby. Tyler Hero, Waka Flocka, we got uh, K. Michelle, and most recent is Takashi Six Nine. Takashi tapped in. Yep, he tapped in. At first, I didn't believe it, but somebody on his team like reached out and stuff, saying that they had showed me proof that you know he uh, he bought the shoe. Hold on, let me let these guys in real quick, man. This is the other guest right here, Big Boss Dead. Oh yeah, go ahead, man. I'm in here with Christopher Prince, um, shoe designer, man. So we gonna chop it up. Yeah, yeah, you. Oh yeah. Yeah. So um, the shoe. So so you do, you did did twenty nine thousand on your first shoe. Um. And you came with, because I've seen a sort of assortment of different designs. So it's, so far, I've seen about six designs, five to six designs, if I'm mistaken. 
mm-hmm. of shoes. So uh, they can just go on the website and order these, or yeah. So basically, the link is in my bio. So my Instagram is Ronnie underscore accent A X S O N, and they can go on my bio and mm-hmm. click the link. And we got over now sixteen different styles of shoes mm-hmm. that you could choose. From. You just came in here with a, a Central State shoe. Most definitely. That y'all, so that's, that's under Christopher, Christopher Prince. Yep, too. that's my alma mater. And um, what's so crazy is Central State haven't even seen the shoe yet. Wow, I, I just uh, yeah, this elite. <laughs> hey, hold on, wait. Can I? Can I? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, let me. Man, this elite. This is exclusive, right? Christopher Prince, uh, Central State, man. Uh, edition, man. You know what sure. I'm saying? So we got that right here on the Outland platform, man. Yeah, yeah. Your boy Hollywood, Chucky, showing you first, right here. You know what I'm saying? Look at the detail. You know what I'm saying? He that's killing him, man. He killing them. It got it got crazy detail, man. You know what I'm saying? Central State right there. Central State, right there. Central State on the back. He got the Christopher Prince, man, collection, man. Make sure y'all go support this brother. You know what I'm saying? Keep buying his shoes. Y'all already supporting him. Make sure y'all keep on buying his shoes. And, uh, man, run it up like y'all do all them other brands. That's ugly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all do it. But another question I wanted to ask you. How hard was it for you to transition from being at a, a teacher to being an entrepreneur? How hard was it for you? Because a lot of people mm-hmm. think that it's um, hard. A lot of people think that it's not hard. You know what I'm saying? So how was it for you? So honestly, um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's very risky, but I understood like metrics. So I had this system called the microwave system. And the microwave system is basically you you take uh, a certain amount of money. Mm-hmm. So let's say I'm the guy from Walmart. I'm a guy from Walmart. I'm in a suit. I got $100,000 to spend on the microwave. I'm trying to make some money. So yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to China, which everything is cheap at. I'm going to take the money, and I'm going to go buy microwaves. I'm going to try to find the best manufacturer that can give me microwaves at $10 a pop. Right. So I get 10,000 microwaves for $100,000. When I take those same microwaves and bring them to the United States, like now I can sell them piece. fifty to sixty. Yeah. So now, in in our world, fifty fifty sixty dollar microwave is a great deal. Oh yeah. So I just made six hundred thousand dollars off a hundred thousand dollars investment, and after I take all my taxes and stuff away, I just made four hundred thousand dollars cash, and that's just one product. So when I saw that and I thought about those metrics, a lot of people don't understand that. So it was a lot of sleepless nights. You feel me? So. I got to depend on selling chicken to pay $700 rent. Right. And it's super risky because, you know, teachers is guaranteed money, but teachers are the lowest paid in the world. So I was only starting at like $45,000. Mm-hmm. And then when I started the chicken stuff, I was on the pace of making that money. Right. And then when I did the shoe stuff and I made the $29,000 in that one month, the second month I did another 20000 And wow. then the third month I did another 20000 So when so I was... So you just running, it's just... Did y'all designed this shoe because you and your lady designed it, right? Yep. Uh, you and your wife designed the shoe, and then as soon as y'all designed that shoe, it's, it just took off. Just like that. And it, and it, and it, I, w- I wouldn't say it was easy, but I came up with something different. I'm like, okay, cool. Who going to trust you to, to make a shoe or to sell a shoe? You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I added that donut charm, and it literally just went viral. That's it dope. My life. That's dope. All you got to do is... Mm-hmm. Work hard, man, at your dreams and your goals, and they're going to come true, man. Your man your man Ron telling you, Christopher Prince, you, the shoe. Um, I appreciate you, man, giving us the exclusive, man, because I don't know if a lot of people wouldn't talk to you about this exclusive shoe, but like my man Big Boss Dale just came here and said, I've been on your ass. <laughs> I've been trying to find you. Yeah, for sure. It's you a lot of people like that. Like my DMs, like it's, I can't even answer everything. Like my DMs so flooded. Like it's so many blue check marks. In there, like I think I, I need those. Over, I need those. I skipped over a guy the other day, and I did not mean to. And it was Spotum got him. Wow! <laughs> and you know, Spotum, my boy, man. We interviewed Spotum when he came here, and everything like that. Shout out to Spotum got him, man. Y'all, he did give us the exclusive over there, Hollywood in the hood. Shout out to my guys over there, Hollywood in the hood. Um, but man, I appreciate you, man, <laughs> doing this for the outlet platform, Thank man. Uh, we coming in, and we coming in big. We'll be back with my man, Big Boss. Ain't no 
shortage for paper. They say I'm Hollywood and I ain't tripping, whatever. Back up on my bully, niggas asking for favors. Top dog around this bitch and I ain't giving no favors. I can't let no hand no. I can't shake no hands no. I might just take this bitch and then I go and send her off. I might pop these bands on her. Yeah, she working for a nigga. She can't keep her hands on me cause I'm colder than her nigga. Niggas ain't getting no pay. No wonder why she ain't wanna take it. Blow her back when I'm coming to this paper. He fell off just like Noriega. I like him, I'm still in the streets. With a big old diff on me. Big bag, big bag. Damn, I really love this ink. Uh, let's get a bad day. I'ma throw my drilling on. It's a good day. Uh, 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 ain't no price today. Let's go and get a bag on a rainy day. They say I'm Hollywood and I ain't tripping whatever. Back up on my bully, niggas asking for favors. Top dog around this bitch and I ain't giving no favors. I can't let no hand no. I can't shake no hands no. I might just take this bitch and then I go and send her off. I might pop these bands on her. Yeah, she working for a nigga. She can't keep her hands on me cause I'm colder than her nigga. Her ex nigga Mac cause ain't getting no paper. No wonder why she ain't wanna take it. Blow her back when I'm coming to this paper. He fell off just like Noriega. I like him, I'm still in the streets. With a big old diff on me. Big bag, big bag.